put yourself in this scenario. You are in a slight financial pinch for a good three months, low on money, and luckily you just received a grant for $2,000, which is pretty awesome. If you had to set a financial plan for yourself and how to sustain for the next three months on that $2,000, would you know what to do or what your first step should be? If your answer was no, or you're unsure, or you want to run to your Charter or Amazon account to buy things off your wish list, and I'm outing myself on that part, then there probably are some holes in your knowledge of basic finances. All throughout our lives, we encounter decisions that deal with money. It's our currency. It's inevitable that we have to face it. And I would say it's common knowledge for a lot of people that having money in your pocket is pretty important and you need it. But there are statistics that reveal that we aren't as well versed as we should be on how to manage that money and even more leaves us fearful for a lot of economic crisis that can happen within the U.S. <laughs> Let's think about COVID-19. So for a lot of Americans, not all, but many, a lot of the first encounters that we have with real world finance making decisions happen in high school or college. But for the sake of the argument, I wanna focus on finance impacts within college. From one college student to another, dealing with finances as a college student is really crazy. And there are a lot of stressful moments that we have with finances and managing that finances. And I wanna argue that I feel as if having a financial literacy course as a mandatory part of our degree plan could be beneficial, beneficial to future finance decisions that we make within our lives. Now, having a basic knowledge or skill set to inform smarter decisions through this course could be very um, beneficial, even in the ends of mental health. For personal experience, I've had a lot of stressful moments with dealing with finances, so especially when I'm low for one week and not unsure on how to manage my finances or what to do. And there was a study that was conducted that evaluated college students' mental health. That's academic stress, social stress, and even financial distress. And financial distress is defined as someone that cannot generate sufficient revenue or income for themselves. And that study revealed that financial distress was associated with all three indicators of poor mental health in college students. That is anxiety, depression, and even self-harm behaviors. So just taking some basic steps forward to understand basic finances through a course could help alleviate some of that stress. Now, learning financial literacy also can set up for future success in personal finances. Now, there is this actual survey that is called a personal finance index or a PFIN index, which surveys Americans on their knowledge and understanding of finance, making sound financial decisions. As of 2020, only 52% of the questions are answered correctly. So that's basically a failing grade. And if you want a visual, here is a pie chart that shows the actual percentage of from another study of a PFIN index that was conducted. And if you look at it, the only 16% of Americans actually correctly answered in the 76 to 100% percentile. So that's a little crazy that only 16% of us really have true knowledge on how to manage our finances. Now, to add on to that study, there's also a relationship between financial literacy and those financial incomes, uh, financial outcomes, sorry. So even if you are fully employed, if you don't have that basic financial knowledge, that study showed that you're still at more risk for falling into a financial distress on the short term and long term. Now, there are counter arguments, of course, of, well, then why only take a course in college? Why start at college? Are there resources on Google? Is it bad enough? And those are all very valid arguments. But what I want to argue is that just receiving that basic information or maintaining that basic information from a literacy, financial literacy course can be obtained and lead to more positive behaviors in the long run. So a study was actually conducted about the sustainability of financial literacy at a university and it was concluded that there was still some significant increase or sustained improvements in financial literacy knowledge even three years after learning the unit. Of course, there's decay over time because of basic how the brain works and so you're going to lose some information, but still just having some basic knowledge or retaining some of that basic knowledge can still lead to more positive behaviors. So it may seem boring, it may seem something that's totally unnecessary, but in the long run, Taking those steps to invest in yourself and starting out with advocating for taking a financial literacy course, it's not going to be a fix all, but it can be those first steps to investing in yourself in your future and preparing yourself for a potential economic crisis or another pandemic, but God willing, we don't have another one of those, but that's all I have.